Hey, what's up, everyone? Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. We got a word, but 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 we got a video to watch, and I'll tell you in a second why I'm worried. Yes, I am actually worried. Let's watch this thing. I've said many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why does that matter? Why is this a global competition to you if everyday Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. Sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody that would ask a nasty question That's like that. That's not a nasty Please question. Please go ahead. Why does it matter? When okay, uh, anybody else? Please go ahead in the back, please. I have, to, I have two questions. No, it's okay. But we'll you pointed to me. I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, next, please. But you did. You called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on. Sorry, I just want the to young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague okay. finish, but can I ask you Ladies a and gentlemen, thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very much. Wow. Wow. I mean, the guy just got fed up. The guy just got fed up. And uh, I mean, this is also unprecedented. Um, we know that Trump is impulsive and all of that and uh you know i'm not a fan here or anything but uh now apart from you know like um i have always this feeling that also the media is really trying their best to set him off you know what i mean they're really trying their best to create a story out of nothing as usual not focusing on the things that perhaps people really want to hear and because of trump uh, being impulsive it just goes off but uh, now without going too much into that type of you know trump's behavior that now the majority of people it's kind of accustomed to but i don't think i've ever seen this guy just walk away from a press conference and somehow it, it gives me the sense that the guy is tired the guy is tired is just fed up and i don't know if that's a good thing I, I I really don't think that's a good thing uh, for for a nation to have a president also that it's just getting fed up and for you know I don't want to create conspiracy stuff or whatever but to an extent also gives me the sense that they know much more you know the president I'm talking you know the, the people in power they know much more of what it's going on and um, because the more we progress the more it becomes harder to manage this whole thing but not just there worldwide i was just reading for instance that germany has had like 900 cases um like today or yesterday there is the article here somewhere and um, um and that they were thinking of they were thinking perhaps of uh tightening up again um you know like the lockdown uh, which it was just eased uh i have the same thing going on here you know the year there's a, the intelligent lockdown people they just keep a distance but the more days they pass the more people behave normally and uh, i have the sense that people are also fed up they want to go out they want to do things i've heard that you know they're doing reservation for restaurants here restaurants that will be open the first of june but with social distancing sort of thing with less capacity all of that and we really like still a little bit in the dark because we see somewhere also here the numbers going down but then at the same time i also see that the the the, the dutch are doing way far less testing than in other places at least in the bigger countries and because they just uh, reserve the test for people with uh, symptoms and therefore you just don't have a clear idea of what's going on this is my opinion but anyway going back to trump you know like maybe this is just uh you know maybe he was just tired in this morning but i really feel like you know the guy just going off and leaving i mean whew, i mean after all 
despite the fact that Trump is a or whatever, you know, like whatever you want to say about the guy, but he's also still a human being. So that he's dealing with stress and all of those other things, the impulses, and even a guy like that uh, can take too much. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering, what is it this too much? Now we're just speculating here, but when I see something like this, again, I really have the sense that perhaps there's much more going on, that the, perhaps they fear much more going on in the country or around, and it just becomes overwhelming for anyone to manage, you know, like individually also to manage all of the, those things emotionally. So I, I truly wonder if, uh, yeah, if they're, if they're keeping stuff, you know, from us and, you know, people are going to say like, of course, they're going to keep stuff for you. But I mean, it in a, it, in a really larger sense of in, in this specific case of um, that there is like a little bit of fear growing also within the, the, the people leading that perhaps this thing, it's been underestimated, you know, and uh, with all of Europe also starting to easy uh, easing up on the lockdown i have this sense that in a couple of weeks two three weeks we will have also a better sense of what it could happen you know if uh, if this thing has really run its course uh, for the bigger part or if there could be like you know some flaring up and uh, i'm telling you like millions of people out there i'm i'm waiting to go back to normal even if normal was the problem but anyway starting to uh, to to go on you know starting to to try to find a way for people to go to work for people to continue their businesses because uh, there is no way like elon musk uh, said on the joe rogan podcast you know like if people stop making stuff there is no stuff so uh, th there is not just this uh, sort of uh, uh, infinite well where things just spring out of it and uh, we can just leave off that we are not yet in a system where we can implement right now a universal a universal income otherwise we have to rethink everything but then again if we go towards a second lockdown for instance then we sh for sure have to think of a way of helping people everyone because i myself i've had difficulties in this period with the small business and we're still struggling we're still like every time like trying to get things done seeing how we work see how we can manage you know the, the time the time every week we manage every week we're trying to manage stuff so it, it becomes so important to have a, a, a clearer idea what to expect and, and we don't so I was uh, w when I see stuff like this, I start to I start to I don't want to be in fear, but I start to fear a little bit like, oh, shit, this guy is losing it or shit. Maybe there is something bigger going on. Oh, fuck, you know, like w what's going on here? You know, like uh, the next thing we we're going to get like more tension, be whatever. I don't want to uh, I don't even want to think of that. But you know what I'm trying to say? So. Maybe it was just a spout here, was just he was pissed off, but uh, uh, I saw this and it made me a little bit like tensed, you know, that this guy perhaps is a little bit uh, fed up with everything and, and uh, behind the scene, what it's going on, it's way bigger than we're imagining. So th this is my thought. Let me know what you think and uh, we'll keep an eye on this. And uh, of course, always spread love. And I'll see you later. Always take care. Ciao.